Good morning, awesome friends. Today we're talking about die cuts and what they are and how we use them. So let's take a look. There are two types of die cuts. The one is solid. This, this specific die cut is solid and intricate. And then these are what I call intricate die cuts where there's a lot of areas that are actually cut out. And there's another intricate one. Okay, so now I want to just explain what is the difference between a die and a die cut because some people are getting confused. And for those of you who haven't been crafting for long, a die is the metal template you use to cut a die cut out. Okay, so the cut piece is called the die cut. And the thing used to cut it with is called the die. I don't have a lot of dies, so I like to buy my packs of die cuts. It's just much easier. And then I can also get a selection. Whereas if you're buying dies, they're quite expensive. And then you've got, you know, five dies, so you can only make the same five things all the time. And um, I also belong to a Happy Mail group, and my ladies are amazing. We swap die cuts quite regularly. So thank you very much to all those ladies who have um, given me die cuts or sent me die cuts. Okay, so there are two ways that I glue. When I'm doing an intricate die cut, I find that it's just easier to glue the tag with your stick glue and stick your die cut on. Now, I often will make a matching pair. I just love that. I love having a matching pair of something, especially if you're doing a journal. So I'm going to cut this off. Always cut from the back. And then I'm going to make a matching one. Kind of line it up. Obviously you can line it up before you cut it, but I just find it easier to do it like this. Okay, so there's a matching pair. If necessary, you can just push it down with your lappy. And you can see I'm always dirty and nothing looks perfect. The glue is all over the place. It really doesn't matter because you are going to cover it. So that's one intricate. And then I'd like to compare your um oh my word forgot to cut some extra tags i'd like to do your solid butterfly so you can see the difference so this is how i buy my tags they're available at the stationery or office store i find they're cheaper there and you can buy a few at a time whereas if you're going to uh, big places like uh, waltons or um uh, p and a you have to buy the whole box and i mean i know we love tags but i don't know if we want to make a whole box of a thousand <laughs> so just check where you can get it and then how are we going to do the butterfly same principle like so and i like things off center and i also don't mind if i cut my die cut nothing has to be perfect and this was one of the hardest things I had to learn was that nothing is perfect in crafting and also because I have a bit of uh, I wouldn't say OCD but definitely tendencies I liked everything straight so for me to do something that is not straight is quite a challenge and let's do the solid one So you can use wet glue as well, but I find that very messy. And then once again, we are gonna do it like that. So you can see that my die cut just fits. I'm actually gonna move it there so I can cut off part of the wing. Don't be afraid to overlap and let it go off the tag. It really, really looks great. And it just takes a bit of practice if you're not used to doing that. There you go. So I had a little piece left over. And for those of you who know, I'm a thrifty girl. I'm just 
going to stick it up top there for some more interest. How's that? Okay. I'm going to let those dry for a moment or two. Come on. Here you go. Oh, my word. Stuck to my finger. I'm glad these things happen. Just shows you that life is life. And all my videos are unedited. So you can see the reality of things. And trim it again from the back. Okay, I'm going to just let that dry for a moment. And as you know, I like to stick them underneath here, underneath my board, just to flatten them a bit. And in the meantime, I have prepared two lovely tags with die cuts given to me by a friend from America. So I'm going to just trim them. There you go. And we're going to do, we're going to make them quick. Which one should I do? That is the question for you. I think, I think for the video, I'm going to do this one. So I've already crumpled my tape. And that one is, oh, I'm really stretching this tape. Just fits. I'll cut this. Can you see I don't often use scissors and now you know why everything sticks on them after every project you do every tape you tag you make you've got to clean the scissors and I, I hate doing that absolutely hate doing that so look what happened girls I tore it it stuck to my finger no worries you'll just touch it because um, some of the ladies are so worried that they're going to tear their tape and that should be the least of your worries because you can just patch whatever you need to patch there you go and I'm going to cover the back as you know I like to cover my back and I find it's just easier to do it all at once back and front and here we go you know that story how you can actually lose something on your table well I am forever losing my scissors and then I'll put something down and I will not move from the table and I will search everywhere. I don't know if any of you found that sometimes you go down to the bathroom or something and you've got a piece of your, your craft stuck to your clothes. I mean, the number of times I go somewhere and I've got metal tape stuck to my top um, or under my shoe. Or I even found a die cut that went missing the other day. It was stuck under my shoe. I mean, I don't know how that happens. Do you think it's the crafting elves? Okay, so there we go, and we just flatten it with our card. Okay, done. Now, the paper stamp. And trim. done and I want to just get the tag that I put over here and I'm going to cover it as well a little bit more tape crumpled up and girls you don't have to crumple your tape 
but I'd say 90% of all my projects I crumple the tape because I really like the creased look and it makes it so much easier to handle. Very disorganized this morning, as you can see. this piece so I don't know what your weather's like with you but we are heading into autumn now so it's really beautiful all the trees are changing color and it's definitely getting a little colder and at the moment we're having three weathers in one day so sometimes it's a lovely sunny day when you um, go out and then like yesterday we went out it was 26 degrees it was beautiful and within an hour it, it had dropped like 10 degrees from 26 to sort of 15 and it was freezing cold so we, yeah we are having five weathers in one day at the moment which is typical South African weather sometimes sorry i'm just looking for a little piece there and i can't find a little piece okay done paper stump around the edge just highlights where you need to cut it okay We have our two tags and we are going to use the paper stump on both to flatten around our patterns. There you go. And then the butterfly. trim that very well and here okay I don't know why I haven't trimmed that properly okay so we rub around everything really well nice and flat so if you don't use the paper stump around the edges when you start using your tool you will tear your tape it's not a trans mesh if you do tear your tape but yes so these are my much love little embossing tools um, and I am going to use these today instead of using the pen because we've been using our pen lately And I prefer the detail with the embossing tools. I 
all we're doing is we are outlining our pattern or our die cut. We are outlining everything. So if you look there, I drew incorrectly. I don't know if you can see. I don't know how well it's focusing. But I went out of... Oh, I don't know if you can see so well. Anyway, all you do is you use your paper stamp and you can smooth it down again. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, this is the solid butterfly, not intricate. It has the pattern sort of drawn on the on the wings, but the butterfly itself is quite plain. And then the detail is where we've cut out on the on the little edging of it. So I mentioned earlier, we always try and put detail on our tag so that the ink can stick. And here we're going to draw detail on the wings. So the light here is not brilliant, as I said to you, because we are working with natural light for the video. So I am just going to freehand draw some patterns on the wings. And here. So we'll draw a circle. Circle there. And here. And draw a body for the butterfly. draw some more lines just so we've got some patterns here I don't know if you can see, done a little bit more detail on the butterfly. It's really important to do a little bit of detail. Um, I'm also going to technique the little hole enforcer, reinforcer, enforcer, I don't know what you want to call it, reinforcer. And I'm going to color in a little bit on the pattern. There you go, and maybe here. Okay. And as you girls know, I always like to have a little edge. So, too lazy to find a ruler. Hence, I'm using my little card and I'm drawing an edge, a border. And where the die cut goes over the edge of the card, I haven't drawn through that. I've just drawn up to it. I'll show you now. Okay, lovely. I am not going to do anything on this background. But I am going to colour it quickly with my Sharpie. There we go. Just 
holding it with a piece of tape so I don't get the ink transferred onto my fingers. Okay. Great. We're putting that aside to dry. And then we'll grab our next one with these lovely, lovely die cuts. I can't wait to try them out. And I was going to do one of the intricate die cuts in this video, but it will take too long. So if you always remember the more areas you've got a technique, the longer the tag will take. So for the sake of the video, trying to keep the video short and sweet, I won't be doing that one. But I will share with you a photograph in our Taper Tag Facebook group. So you can take a look at it there. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this little flower. Um, you know, South Africa is a very colorful place and, and we have a lot of issues. But I just have to tell you that I'm sitting here and I'm working and my garden service are busy with my lawn and that and I can hear them singing away. And that's the thing about South Africa that people don't understand. No matter what the hardship is, there's always time for a smile. And I think it's amazing. So this little die cut is quite plain, um, but it's really lovely. And I'm going to technique the little flowers. Because remember, we want to add interest. And the more you draw on your tape, the more place you have for your ink to stick. So, draw on that. And you can technique it any way you like. So have you girls decided what you're going to do with all your tags? One thing that is really worthwhile doing, especially if you're a beginner, is to have a little container or a file or something where you can keep all your tags with the different techniques. Because you sometimes forget the techniques you've learned. I have a little uh, container with all my metal tape tags that I've done with different techniques on them over the years and I'm sure later on in the challenge I'll actually show you how I've stored mine because it's nice to refer back to that and then I I give to I give these little tags a lot I give them to people as a happy mail presents I use them on on gifts um, you can even put a couple of um, tags in a little tag holder and give it to somebody so that they can use it on their gifts there are so many things you can do with your tags and once again I think I'm going to keep this background plain but just give it a border again I'm going to keep you girls too long. No, not everybody has Wi Fi. There you go. Sweet and simple, and color it in with the Sharpie. Okay. 
일단 So now we can wipe the Sharpie off here. Yeah? And this has been standing a while. It's completely dry and it wipes off fine. Okay, so that's done with the Sharpie. I'm oh, sorry, with the Sharpie. That's cleaned with the lappy or the cloth. And then this one, also dry to the touch, we're actually going to use our nail buff. Okay, I want you to see the difference. The tag that we've made and we buffed with the nail buff is not as shiny as the tag that we have rubbed off with the lappy or the cloth. But aren't those two gorgeous? Have an awesome day and thanks for watching.